hey guys what's up and welcome back to another video hope you guys are doing well so in today's video i'm going to make this creamy beef stew recipe so if you guys would like to see more before i make this recipe just keep watching so to make this creamy beef stew recipe i'm going to show you guys all the ingredients which you will need first you would need your minced garlic to add lots of flavor to this beef stew if you have fresh garlic you can use it as well next you would need one of my favorite beef stocks so that's what it looks like right there it's organic and it adds so so much flavor to your beef stew next you also need onion so i'm using one small onion to make this creamy beef stew recipe next you will also need fine sea salt and paprika seasoning this paprika seasoning is going to give so so much flavor to your beef it's going to give it a nice color it's going to give it so so much flavor so you want to make sure you have those two ingredients also you want to have bay leaves so i'm using four small bay leaves potatoes carrots and celery finally you will need flour which is right there you will also need your beef okay and that's what my beef looks like guys so i went off camera and i washed all my veggies i also went ahead and washed my meat and that's what it looks like so when you wash your meat you want to make sure you pat the water off the beef or your chicken whatever meat you're using make sure it's for dry okay next we're going to add all the seasoning onto the plate once you add all your seasoning onto the plate make sure you mix very well to combine the seasons this season right here guys is so so good and this is optional you don't have to use this but i like to use old bay seasoning in beef stew i think it gives so much flavor along with that paprika seasoning so you want to add about a tablespoon of old bay seasoning next you just want to mix very well to combine the seasonings Next, you're going to add your ground black pepper. Next, we're going to coat the beef cubes into the flour mixture make sure it's fully coated So now you can go ahead and add two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to the pot. Next you're going to add the beef cubes into the pot. Make sure the oil is hot. You're going to fry your beef cubes and both sides for two to three minutes once it starts to get nice and brown you get that nice brown color that's when you're going to turn it over to the opposite side and you're going to fry for two to three minutes again And once the beef cubes are fried and both sides and they're fully cooked, we're going to set it to the side. But guys, I just realized that um, I did not show the onion and the garlic. So once the beef is fully cooked, we'll put the beef to the side 
and then you'll add your onion and your garlic and then you'll saute until it's um you know soften a little bit and fragrant and then you would add the beef back to the pot but i just realized that i did not show this on camera okay so that's what you would do after the beef is fully cooked and that looks good so far guys you want to make sure it's fried very well make sure there's no peas showing inside the beef that's when you know it's fully cooked So once the beef is fully cooked, we're going to add the veggies because I didn't film that part where I add the garlic and the onion, which that's what I would do first. I would set the beef to the side. Like I mentioned before, I would add the garlic and the onion, let it saute until it's nice and softened. And then I would go in and put the beef back into the pot and then add all the veggies, the carrots, the celery, the potatoes, a few like just like few thyme leaves. And then I would also add the bay leaves. It's going to give so, so much flavor to this um, creamy beef stew recipe. So that's what it looks like. We're going to let it sit for about one hour and a half. After one hour and a half, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So this is the final results, guys. I am so impressed with this recipe. Look at that. It's nice and creamy. It smells good and it tastes delicious. And the beef was so, so soft. I thank you guys so, so much for stopping by again. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye.